Namaste everyone. I'm back to Thailand after two years, being in Ibiza, being uh, in Mexico also, traveling around. For the one who speaks Spanish, my English is very easy to understand. So I'm here today because I want to present this uh, Tantric Astrology retreat. Mm. I've been feeling it since years, since I'm studying Tantra and Vedic Astrology. How can I combine them? I had a revelation, few revelations. So I'm here today, I want to introduce what is this Tantric Astrology Retreat. Mm. Vedic Astrology is an ancient um, uh, science uh, that the Rishi used in India a long time ago to observe the sky and just to understand themselves better what happened during a full moon, during an eclipse or during the transit of powerful planet like uh, Jupiter or uh, Saturn, what is the movement and the reverberation we have through the stars in our body. And our body is not just our physical body, it's our energetical body, our emotional and mental body and spiritual body, the five koshas. Tantra in its, uh, in its huge domain and the vastness, we are going to uh, add the Tantra in this workshop going through the heart, from heart to heart. In a way to embody the planet, embody the zodiac sign, embody the meaning of the houses. Learn astrology from the heart and not from the intellect of Mercury. Mercury is the planet of intellect, okay? Discrimination, analyzing. We need it, we need our intellect you know, to study. But we need our heart also to study, to feel it. Because remember, our hands, the sense of touch, is related to the heart chakra, to Anahata. Having some moment of transfiguration, having some moment of sharing, one and one, and group sharing. We're going to have also uh, one hour per day of theater impro with the planet, related to the planet, the energy and the understanding and meaning of the planet. It's very easy to do it. I will guide you. In the morning, we will have Atta Yoga classes. We're going to go deep into it. We're going to feel the chakras in the yoga postures and bring the planet, the meaning of the planet in each chakra. Remember, we have seven chakras and we have seven planets. It's not as easy as I'm going to uh, expone it to you in a couple of words. But Saturn is ruling uh, Muladhara Chakra. Venus is in uh, uh, Swadhisthana. Mars, for example, is in Manipura with the Sun and with Jupiter because they are a fiery planet. They are a Pitta planet. In the heart, we have Venus, of course, the planet of love and relationship. But we have also Jupiter, which is the Guru. Gurus teach from the heart, from heart to heart, from Guru to Sannyasi like in India. In here we have Mercury, in here we have Sun and Moon, and all the planets are related to uh, the Kundalini Shakti, the Shushumna uh, channel of energy. We have the center, central uh, channel of energy. Ida and Pingala are related to Rahu and Ketu, which are the north node of the Moon and south node of the Moon. So there is a lot of things that we are going to study. Astrology, the chakra system, the pranayamas, the yoga posture we're going to adapt, and then a lot of theory also. Morning theory about the planets, understand the meaning of the planet, the zodiac sign, the houses, and much more. I want uh, to share with you the um, Kibalion. There are the seven hermetic principles of our system, our, the world, how it works. The principle of mentalism, the principle of correspondence, of vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect and gender. So let's take the first one, eh? is the principle of mentalism. In India, we say that everything is Maya, everything is in illusion, is the projection of our mind, because the mind projects 
and then things happen, we see things. But it's from our inner self that we are seeing the world. So we create the world from within. And there is an external world. Sometimes people say, yeah, but it's not exactly what you are seeing. Maybe the world is different. I'm not going into that. I want to bring two important Sanskrit words to explain the mentalism. It's a maya, means illusion, and lila is the play of life. If you know about the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna play the life, play uh, the lila. And through maya, through the illusion, we create what is around us. It's not easy to understand, it's many words, but just stick on the idea that what you see is your own projection and is your own creation. So see the mind, how is important, and the planet related to the mind is the moon. So the second one is the principle of correspondence. We used to say, as above, so below. So below, as above. What does that mean? If you take a tree, if you take the roots of a tree, you put it upside down, you will see the branches of the tree going down the roots, and the roots are flourishing up in the sky. So there is a reverberation with the sky, with our solar system, and not only the solar system, the galaxy and all the universe. All the planets may have an influence on you, on me, and all of us. The thing that we don't look enough the sky to understand how this works, and we are not sensible enough to tune into the planet. Let's go to the third one. I need my glasses because I cannot see the principle of vibration. So, what is vibration? Vibration is prana in India. Prana is vital energy, is what makes life happen. We live and we survive because of prana. We breathe in and we breathe out, prana, yama. So the prana in India is related to two planets, basically to Mars and to Mercury, because Mercury lives in here, in the throat, in Vishuddha, and M Mercury is the planet that rules the nervous system. Without prana, we cannot survive. We need our body to be nourished from prana. Mars is the planet of pranic energy. Mars is the planet of physical motion, physical movement in the life. How do you move? How do I move in life physically? Then the principle of polarity. Very beautiful. What are the polarities? Polarities, in, in India we have the 20 gunas, hot and cold, emissive and receptive energy. We have day and night. How to apply this law of uh, polarity? So let's take maybe the most obvious example in Vedic astrology about opposition, about the opposites. So let's take the sun, which is light, and let's take Saturn, which is shadow, darkness. Sun is hot, Saturn is cold, sun is quick, and Saturn is a slow moving planet. Right. So let's take now the principle of rhythm. What is my rhythm? What is your rhythm? What is my mind? The rhythm of my mind. How do I perceive life? I have my timing. I'm not quick maybe as you, or I'm not slow as another person. You think quick, I think slow, for example. So let's tap into our solar system. We take the sun, we put the sun in the middle. What is the rhythm of the sun? The moon has its own rhythm and the rhythm of the menstruation so the rhythm of the menstruation is uh, something that we see it every month. Women have it and men would be nice to be in touch with this. 
This is why in the, in the retreat we're going to speak about menstrual cycle, the moon. The moon represents the womb, the moon represents the menstrual cycle, and Venus, for example, represents the sexual pleasure and orgasm. So you see how we can play because the moon is also here with the sun because Ida and Pingala, the, the cross in Ajna Chakra. Let's stop to the sixth one is the law of cause and effect. Saturn, Rahu and Ketu in, India, in Indian Vedic astrology. Why Saturn? Because Saturn is a karmic planet and every action you do will have a consequences, right? Rahu and Ketu are karmic, karmic planets that uh, it would take me three hours to do a video just talking about Rahu and Ketu, but Rahu and Ketu are involved also in the law of karma, cause and effect. Ketu is where I'm coming from and Rahu where I head to, I'm heading to in this life, right? And the last one, the principle of gender, beautiful. What can be the principle of gender in Vedic astrology? Moon, Sun, Venus, Mars, Venus, Mars, Shiva and Shakti. Masculine principle, feminine principle. So what is Shiva? Shiva is the pure consciousness and Shakti, she is the matter. Everything you see in the world is Shakti. So the gender in Vedic astrology, we study it as I said before. Check your Venus and check your Mars. Mars is about masculine power, passion, sexual energy. Venus is also the sexual energy and the passion. Both are passionate planets. So see in your astrology how they manifest. What is the mix? Are they sitting with another planet? Are in the de detrimental uh, zodiac sign? Are they in exalted position? Are they combined with another planet doing a conjunction, maybe a yoga? So this is just an introduction of the Tantric uh, Astrology Retreat. So we're going to study Vedic Astrology, we're going to study Pranayamas, Yoga Posture, Chakra System. What I want to say also, which is very important, is uh, the retreat is nine day. There is dropping classes. You can come on Monday and work on the moon. Sun is Sunday, so you can join on Saturday and have the day of Saturn. You can join two, three, four days of the full retreat. So the first retreat in Italy is a, is a retreat of nine days. We will go every day with one planet, every day. And we will have Rahu and Ketu during the eclipse in October, the last uh, Saturday of the, I will put the dates, you can, you can go to my website. So we will work on Rahu and Ketu during the eclipse. Probably we're going to do a shadow work to study the meaning of Rahu and Ketu. So it's not in one week or nine days we will uh, learn astrology. Neither we're going to uh, read all your astrology, her astrology, his astrology. We are not going to open your personal astrology. We don't have time for this. Now we are studying the basics of it. And you are the one in charge of studying. Then the second module, we're going to go a little bit deeper in the studies. We keep the practice of yoga all the time, of pranayama, of theater impro. If you are an advanced astrologer, you will have to go through the first steps. This is a training to go slowly to become an astrologer or a tantric astrologer, uh, astrologer because we want to add to astrology the yoga, the yoga system and the chakra system. And we are going to embrace Tantric astrology from the heart, as I said right in the beginning. Thank you for uh, your attention. Thank you for going to the end of the video. Please subscribe if you can. Put a like if you like this video. And we see you in other videos. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.